Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Figure Review and today we have in front of us the G.I. Joe well, Snake Eyes like the V1 version in 6 inch scale if we want to call it like that well that's what it's intending, intended to be, you know here we have a little bio because I didn't read it in the uh, previous review for the Crimson Guards here we have the well, Snake Eyes bio proficient in 12 unarmed fighting systems jungle desert and arctic survival Snake Eyes is a total mystery but he's real good at his job heck he's the best I don't know if that's the bio from back in the day but it's yeah it's kind of enthusiastic and well if they're gonna be making like 19 different figures of this guy in the couple of years we have had this line of course they have to pump it up, you know? And there we have the rest of the figures from the wave, we reviewed this one, it's on the channel. So I guess what's happening is they, they release something in this country, then they release this other thing in this other country, this... I don't know what's the rule, if there's any, of, or if it's mere chance, uh, but uh, it's the way it happened. Uh, so, I'm lucky just to have this guy this early, but I'm, there's other stuff I don't have yet, like my Slaughter or Mindbender, I don't have those yet. So, people get angry, of course, I would be also like, if, if some figure is getting in the hands of some people in whatever country, I also want to have my figure. And I know everybody, I mean, we all are ordering these things and want to get them as soon as possible, yeah? But uh, and they give us these dates and then they release much earlier somewhere and much later somewhere and it's the way it's happening I don't know we'll hopefully it will become more regular everywhere I don't know if it's realistic to think like that but it's what uh, we're having at the moment so let's take this guy out and see how good he actually is and there we have our v1 snake eyes or the retro carded snake eyes from the gi joe classified retro line at least that's how i call it i don't know if it's uh, the right way to call it or not i don't know uh, walmart exclusive or something like that hasbro pulse exclusive i got it through hasbro pulse i live in germany we don't have walmart here uh, I don't even know if there's places where Joes are sell, sold on retail, we get everything online, but pff, I'm so used to it now since the pandemic, you know. Anyway, uh, I'm surprised that I'm really enjoying this guy, I mean, I just took him out, I was checking the articulation, he wasn't all frozen, but uh, actually nothing was frozen on this figure, still I put him on hot water because... I wanted to check the waist and all of that. It was moving, but it has no real range. Like, I mean, he has the app crunch, but the waist can only turn, in the, at least in my copy. I don't know if the stalker figure, because they share the same base body, if it also has that limited, uh, you know, ball waist movement that it can only turn and it doesn't really bend forward, backwards, or tilt to the sides or whatever. Anyway, here's a figure equipped with everything he comes with. First of all, we have now my very first Joe um, stand here. And there we have the star and the stripes, like, embossed. Is this an embossed? I don't know. It's, yeah, graved there, get carved there, whatever, like, cast in the plastic. You know, it's no paint, no name for the character. The same as with the Crimson Guards. There was no printing there. And we have a very you know, mostly cast in black figure, well, it's all cast in black, but it has some little writing there on the grenades, and I don't know if there are smoke grenades or explosives or whatever, uh, and he has some, like, grayish green or dark green uh, paint for some details on his, like, uh, holster. I mean, this uh, harness here he's wearing, it has green for the this dark green for the buckle there for this like sculpted knife that is just sculpted there for these little buckles up here and uh, that grenade which is sculpted there and also here in the back just these two i'll call it them buckles also here for the uh, clips here i don't remember the name of things you know but you know what i'm trying to describe here also for the knuckle dusters, or the, the, here on the gloves he has, on his knuckles he has some green paint as well. 
as well as here now he comes with a, and in the thumb as well he comes with this Uzi like the very first release of Snake Eyes and also the Timber and Snake Eyes 2 pack or Snake Eyes and Timber we have the little grenades here with some writings there and that red stripe and they fit nicely in his uh, you know his kind of baggy here which he's holding I, don't, I guess those are more explosives or something like that or is that like water for survival I don't know what he's carrying there but if you're a military expert or something just leave it down there in the comments below please because I am not and I don't want to I mean if you can enlighten us uh, with your knowledge that would be very cool and by the way if you're watching this video please leave a like share and subscribe because that helps the channel channel a lot like growing and all of that he comes with this knife which is the very same stalker comes with also has some green paint for the hilt even if it might not be that noticeable on camera he also comes with the same silencer that uh, the stalker figure came with just cast in black he has a peg for the little side arm he comes with the, you cannot use this on the Uzi, but you can use it here for the yeah maybe you have to adjust that with hot water or hot uh, air actually you maybe you can actually peg it the other way around i mean you can but it's incorrect you know it's just i'm just you can do things with your toys you can play with them and yeah do illegal stuff i mean like, things that wouldn't be that realistic but anyway that's not that necessary yeah you can see it's just a fully cast in black figure with well, i mean it's snake eyes you know what snake eyes is about he's all always wearing mostly black in this case he's fully clad in black with just those little paint details so maybe that we don't complain that much i don't know the glasses or his uh, goggles here or lenses whatever these are called oh let me focus this yeah same as with the snake eyes and timber release they have like a glossy finish and the rest of the head is matte you can see the very traditional or very you know like that very first snake eyes figure with those little breathing openings there for the mask which i don't know if it would be enough i mean this guy yeah well he's trained and all of that but he doesn't get that much oxygen through those uh, little holes the sculpt is the same as for stalker so if you have the stalker figure this is the same sculpt and the same uh, set of actually are the hands the same no they did uh, check that he the snake eyes has some gloved hands i don't know if he's sharing these hand sculpts with someone else tell me if you know please uh, or let us know you know and the figure of course it mostly will have the same amount of articulation than the stalker figure so the head well this head actually is not that bad he can look up that far of course the neck is on a ball to the torso and the head is on a ball to the neck yeah he has a very nice amount of uh, you know neck movement there tilting and all around so these snake eyes will have i don't remember the other ones this one has all that uh, expression there looking up that far again and down that far uh, the shoulders have a butterfly joint that can go backwards that far and forward that far not bad it, forward could be more again like in most figures they do they tend to give a lot of backwards but forward i don't know why i mean they they could do a bit more give a more it just starts to have some minimal like cross action that's what i call it at least but uh, yeah it's minimal it's like mostly he's just the arms can only face forward anyway the, el the, the elbows the shoulders can lift that far so a bit uh, slightly over the t pose he has a bicep cut can go all the way around it's a flat cut but it's not the worst one it does break the sculpt but not as badly as with the crimson guards in my opinion you have the double jointed elbows pinless elbows that bend that far which is great this hand has a vertical swivel so you have one vertical swivel hand and one horizontal swivel hand and of course both can just go all the way around he has a very nice ab crunch that can go backwards one click but it's yeah i think it's good enough can go forwards two clicks i mean this is one click 
and this is the second click so you can sneak around with your snake eyes um, yeah and now this is the part where I wasn't that happy this can move around all the way around no problem and this figure wasn't frozen so I'm not I, I'm not afraid like oh I will break it or something but with many figures it's always frozen and if I want to pose them or something I need to hit that thing again I don't know what which kind of oil or something I could use that doesn't damage the plastic but allows me and doesn't make it super wiggly you know that kind of gives me a permanent solution to that if you know please leave it down on the comments below <laughs> so that I get me some product to be able to have always like some movement on my figures you know before because they tend to get frozen with the temperature here and all of that anyway uh, but yeah as you as i told you i have no movement on that waist like forwards and backwards and i won't force it of course and no tilt nothing it's just like the peg is just to turn around in this at least this copy is like that anyway you have you can see it already you have the full splits hurrah for that he can kick forward almost 90 degrees if you do the drop down i mean with snake eyes you i yeah drop down is he can have it you know he he's a martial artist and all of that uh, but yeah this body seems to not well it benefits from it of course it, because some figures actually don't and they just get the risk of you know of that peg being easier to break but actually i think i'm not an expert in plastics but i'm almost sure that black plastic maybe is one of the sturdier ones i don't know let me know if you know about plastic uh, resistance and qualities and all of that but yeah anyway he has the double jointed pinless knees that can bend all the way i mean i think that's all that you will need uh, of course the legs here have you can see they have some carp there so i mean they now they are giving more clearance now to, for them to be able to move in different ways you know he has a boot cut of course for both legs of course and the the feet can go backwards that far forwards that far and have a decent ankle rocker i mean you have everything you want well, only apart from that waist, uh, th that ball waist or whatever they did there, I'm very happy with the. Uh, well, also the the butterflies could have more clearance going forward, in my opinion at least. Well, definitely, uh, yeah, that and the waist. Otherwise, I'm very pleased. Uh, the neck could also be better. Yeah, he could look upwards a bit better, and yeah, but at least he has a lot of, yeah the famous attitude thing i'm very glad to have opened this figure and yeah i don't i won't say i recommend it or, i mean you want it or not it's just another snake eyes is like the most uh, the closest or this is like the v1 version snake eyes in classified uh, scale so if you're like a real snake eyes fan you already have it or you pre-ordered it and we don't even need to discuss that but yeah it's a very plain figure but it's a classic you know <laughs> that's what i would say so let's check some size comparisons so there we have a retro carded snake eyes next to a cobra bat and croc master next to a cobra officer a crimson guard a cobra, cobra viper and a red ninja next to a lightning collection red ranger stalker scarlet and a steel brigade black ops or night ops from valiverse next to a marvel legends black panther she hulk and kate bishop next to the amazon exclusive arctic mission storm shadow and the regular release storm shadow and next to the first released snake eyes the commando snake eyes with well both maybe are supposed to be the commando but anyway uh, and timber yeah looking great i still have to open the movie snake eyes and get me the other snake eyes with the white timber but those are not like super priorities for me right now but i'll get them at some point anyway i hope this review was entertaining and useful if it was so please leave a like share and subscribe as i always say that helps me a lot i think i mean i'm surprised that i really am liking this figure even if it's 
even if it's you know just another snake eyes but it's like the the first version snake eyes whatever i do i'm a kind of a mild fan of the character it's not that I, that I know the whole story of snake eyes and have everything snake eyes and i have read every comic no but i have always liked the character uh, not knowing everything about him you know also storm shadow anyway i've been a joe fan since i was born in 85 you know 1985 so i wasn't there for since the very beginning but since i have memory i liked gi yeah, joe i'm not the hardcore of fans but i really like the thing and yeah i've been it's been something that has been in my life the whole time don't have everything but uh, i'm into this line as you might guess and yeah i think i can recommend this figure of course it's a retro carder it, it carded figure we have to be picky now with what we buy and what we don't because the prices are, have gone up and uh, yeah, not, not all the things quality have gone up but at least the G.I. Joe classified line hasn't disappointed me yet like some other lines from the same brand, you know uh, thing is, uh, yeah, I'm talking a lot cool figure, I really like it if you're a Snake Eyes fan you will get it anyway so pff, there it is I think it's a cool one, uh, it's up to you. So please leave a like, share and subscribe and take care. I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.